Hi guys, welcome to the second uh, part of the final project on JavaScript. So now we're going to start with JavaScript code and to do that you already know you have to type um, sorry in between the head tags here let's type script type text JavaScript and close script okay now between the script text is where we're gonna put the JavaScript code so the first thing I'm gonna do is create a function that will grab all the elements or um, all the um, the the ID or all the inputs so you'll see that we have an ID for each uh, input and I'm going to create an array within a function to grab all those um, inputs so then we can re uh, make reference to all those inputs and create different outputs uh, for all those inputs uh, saying uh, your password is wrong or your email is wrong or please type a name okay uh, but don't worry we will uh, get to that let's go step by step and first create a function called register and here I'm gonna create a variable X and an array in the variable so let's type new array and down here let's type x 0 equals to um, I'm gonna show you a very cool feature or sorry a very cool um, uh, method that you can use or function in JavaScript which is the get element by ID in basically what the what it does it's uh, grab any element that has an ID on your uh, XHTML code um, so it will grab one by one the ID name the L name and then you can control each of one uh, one of those uh, inputs um, so to do this uh, we have to type document dot get element by ID and pay attention to the capital letters okay because uh, the this is case sensitive you have to type uh, as I um, typed in here okay E in capital E capital B and capital I and now parenthesis and inside the parenthesis between quotes you have to type uh, the name of the ID so the first one is name let's grab it name and then you type dot value okay so this is making reference to anything that you type in the um, in here okay so anything you typed in here is the value that will be stored in this variable okay sorry in this um, in this uh, array um, position which is the zero now let's type the next one which is one and basically you can grab all this as well copy paste it and now in here instead of name we have to type L name L name okay let's copy this and put another one here this is the two copy and another and this is three so after L name I think we have the email and then we have the password and the last one is the C password which is the confirmed password here okay so get element by ID C password perfect okay now I'm going to create another function uh, but before that 
I'm just gonna make sure that this is working this function now for this function to work we have a little um, we can use a little um, a little function called the on click in here and this is a is, is a, an event handler for the um, we can use this a lot in forms which is basically when we click a button uh, do or call a function so to um, to use it we just have to go to the submit after value submit we type on click equals uh, double quotes and here we type uh, the function that we want to run in JavaScript as soon as we click the submit button and this will be the register function so let's type here register make sure you put the parentheses as well okay um, okay here it is now uh, we just grabbed and put all the elements in a, an array but to output something let's type uh, alert parenthesis and here let's type X uh, let's call the name let's see if uh, we can output uh, the name as soon as we uh, click the submit button obviously uh, we have to go in here refresh the page now let's try this let's see if it works let's type uh, Victor or you can put your name on it and as soon as we click uh, click uh, submit an alert box will appear saying Victor okay now this uh, guarantees that the code is working okay so make sure that whenever you uh, click the submit button type a name first and when when you click the submit button we have an you have an alert box okay so if it if it's not working something is wrong with your code so check your code again uh, or review uh, the video um, okay so now we can go on to the next uh, function but we will proceed it uh, we will proceed with the in the next video okay guys so uh, see you guys in the next video bye